Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today is day five of the creative prompts. I hope you've been following along. Do know that you can click on show more below this video in the description box there, and there are links to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, my webpage, my blog, my Facebook, all of those things are in there, as well as the products that I use. And I hope that you'll join us in the Facebook event and post photos of your daily prompts. All right, so today the prompt is use a rubber stamp on your journal page to your satisfaction and then on that page write about someone special in your life. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to take out this page because I made my journal where the pages aren't permanently bound at the moment. Once I am done with the journal, I'll bind them. But since this isn't bound, I'm just going to fold it back upon itself. And I've got this page and I've got a rubber stamp here. So let me grab a piece of paper and I've got archival ink jet black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp around the perimeter of this page. And so I've gone all the way around that page. And the next thing I want to do is I've got a stencil here. And even though it doesn't say to do this in the prompt, I wanted to add a little bit more color to my page. So I've got fire brick distress inks. And I've got one of these oval blending brushes. I found these on Amazon. So there's a link in the description box. And I thought it would look really good with this red on top of here. This is a stencil from... I think it's my August Stencil Club. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll reword it in the description below. But I'm just going to go over this stencil. This is a stencil that I created. I hand drew it. And then we have a laser. So I'm just going to go around and add a little bit of the pattern on here. So that changes that up a little bit, doesn't it? I think I want to put a little bit of the Distress Ink right around the edge. I think that is stamped and decorated to my satisfaction in order to write upon it next. So I'm going to, I'm going to write on it while it's flat. So write about someone special in your life. So we're going to put the date up here, January 5th, 2020. All right, so I've written on my page. I'm just going to slip it back into my journal so it's ready to go. And I wrote January the 5th, 2020. Stamp on page, then write about someone special in my life. My husband, Henry, is the someone special in my life. I am so blessed to have him in my life. We have so many memories from all the years together. I can't imagine life without him. Need to tell him more how important and special he is to me. Love you, Henry. All right, so there is my January the 5th journal prop so as you can see we're we're filling up the journal a little at a time just in five days we've already added quite a bit to it if you have any questions please feel free to ask again if you haven't subscribed please do so give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends let's see Check the description box for the links of the stamps that I use and stencils, as well as the Friendly Giant Journal People Facebook group. All right, everybody, I'm going to get off here. We'll see you next time. Have a fabulous day. Bye.